Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Early Career Academic. On this channel, I explore how I organize my life so that I can pursue my professional and personal goals. Um, I am an academic, as I said. I'm also a wife, a cat mom, a literary scholar, and a passion planner ambassador. Um, I do have an affiliate link in the description of this video. I do get a small commission off of any sale used through that link, so uh, feel free to support the channel that way if you like, um, or just give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, today we're going to be planning the week of December 6th through the December 12th um, and reflecting a little bit on how the current week is going. So let's just dive in. So this is the Passion Planner Ambassador. Um, this is the medium weekly in the marble cover um, and I used tabs that aren't flush this time and I really, really like how this all looks. It's just a pleasure to look at every, every day. Um, I do use the weekly spreads the most. Um, I also have a daily passion planner and when I'm actively teaching this is incredibly useful to me. Sometimes when I have so much to do I can't like decide what am I going to tackle today. This helps me do that. So um, I'm going to do some more videos on this probably in the spring um, but that is what I use that for. Also, this month is December, so I am doing Vlogmas. I'm not doing an everyday video because I have a full-time job, y'all. <laughs> um, but I am doing vlogs, posting them every Wednesday. I've already posted one vlog of me um, decorating my house and doing some fun things over the Thanksgiving um, break to get the Christmas ball rolling. So if you wanna watch that, um, I will link it in this video, but you can also access it um, on the vlog playlist on this channel. Um, so this is the current week. This is the week of uh, November 29th through December 5th. And um, it's going really well, all things considered. It was the last week of classes, so I had my last um, major class uh, sessions on Tuesday, and those went really well. It also snowed that morning, like really briefly, just a teeny tiny bit, so that was kind of fun. Also this week, I have been just going through uh, outstanding assignments, providing feedback, providing assessment, um, that kind of thing. And um, in, in, more, in more personal things, I have um, packaged up the treats that I send our extended family for Christmas and I mailed them out yesterday. I know you're like, whoa, Tanya, it's only December 2nd, what are you doing? But um, I am traveling in the month of December. And honestly, you guys, I kind of want to I like to get these things going so that I can take a more relaxed approach in the rest of the month, um, especially when it comes to gift buying and so on. Like I like having that time and especially this year, if you guys have been watching my channel, you know that it's been a really intense semester for me. So I just kind of want to like get all these like to do items crossed off so that I can enjoy the rest of the month um, and not feel like I'm forgetting something. So that is why I'm kind of like really accelerated through through the Christmas prep this year. Plus, I know there's going to be shipping delays. I mean, you should just anticipate that. So that's also why I wanted to get those treats in the mail. Um, and I am going to, I vlog, I filmed uh, myself doing this. So you will have another vlog next week showing you what that looks like. Um, also, I am every week coming up with a new list of Christmas movies to watch, in, uh, and it's going to be categorized. This week was the classic Christmas movies, and we are making our way through this list. Um, we started with Christmas in Connecticut. We also um, watched A Christmas Story and Miracle on 34th Street so far. So I am going to show you the next list in today's video. I am uh, absolutely checking things off my list. For this week, I got these things done. Still haven't got my regular flu shot. That's on tap though. I'm gonna do that. I'm filming this video right now. And I haven't, um, yes, I did this for Wednesday already. I edited and posted my vlog. Today I have a writing group meeting and before that I'm going to finish this writing project. This is the last one of the semester that I really kind of have to get off my desk. So that is happening. I also need to register for this conference. So those two things will happen today. Um, this, did I change my password? No, I haven't changed my password yet. And then I know I keep moving this term grant report forward. Um, we'll see, if I have time, I'll get to it. If not, not stressing about it. A couple of really good things happened this week. 
got some really nice feedback from students and from um, guests who joined my students final um, presentations to say that it was a really great day so that made me feel really happy um, all in all pretty good also this weekend I am hosting a small intimate holiday party with some friends of mine so really excited for that uh, we are currently house sitting my mom's um, animals and so we're going to go back to our house today and then um, get everything ready for the party. So that is the plan for, for the rest of the week. Okay, on to the next week. Okay. Um, and as you can see, I went ahead and I already jotted down the movie list because um, I it's gonna it would take me kind of too long and I don't want this video to be like crazy long. And as you can see, I didn't decorate ahead of time. So... Um, this week I was inspired by this Park Lane sticker book. I really liked this pink and red, you know, candy cane color scheme. So we're definitely going to incorporate these stickers here. And then I did bring some pink washi. So I have that as an option. And I also picked out my markers. This is the Tombow Dual Brush um, 845. And then this is uh, a mild liner in the, um, what color is this? Rouge. Um, so these are like the closest I could come with the pens I have to these colors. And then I remembered that I have this um, Recollections book from Michaels. And it has some um, of the same kind of color combinations. Like in the gifts, you can see the pink and the red there. And then there was also a washi somewhere in here that I thought I might use. Yeah, this pink snowflake one. Um, so let me just get my scissors ready just in case that is what I decide to do. Um, before I launch into the decorations, I am going to go ahead and jot down my appointments because it helps me um, see where I can put stickers. So this coming week, um, I mentioned to you guys last video that I'm going to be switching up how I use the weeks a little bit. And that's just because as the semester ends, I don't have as many like fixed appointments that I have to keep track of. Um, but this, this, uh, this coming week, there's still, there's still some like lingering obligations that I have. Um, I'm still teaching the, uh, volunteer computer core class every Monday night until I think until the next week. I think the next week is the last class. Um, but, you know, moving forward, I use the daily less and use the weekly more um, because I just don't need, I don't have as many um, things I need to keep track of. Um, I'm not sure if this is, if that, if I have this call or not. So, but um, this weekend gets kind of busy because we have my department holiday party and then we have my husband's um holiday party we are literally going to be going from one to the next they're pretty close together though so um and then my parents are hosting a vintage cocktail holiday party for our neighbors. I might vlog some of this, so um, just keep an eye on the channel if you want to see how that looks. Um, so it's going to be kind of a busy weekend. Of parties but I'm okay with it it's been over you know a, so, since December 2019 since I've been to a holiday party so um, you know I'm, I'm okay with it and everyone that I know is coming to this will be vaccinated because our employers require it and then because I know our neighbors are responsible individuals um, okay so that's it for the fixed engagements you can see it's pretty blank because semesters over don't have any department meetings, student meetings, that kind of thing. Like there might be something that pops up here and there, but it's not like there's going to be tons of, of that. So really how I spend this time is going to be completely up to me. Um, I will have some like things I need to do. And I'm going to go ahead and jot those down as well since I'm on a roll with this pen. I always pop a spot in here for laundry and groceries. 
and cat care just to remind me I still need to get that dang flu shot and we're still working on adoption paperwork and I will have my um, what am I doing on that Monday ah okay so I have a video and I have a blog and another play with me next Friday and um, the vlog that's going live on Wednesday so this is the content that I'm creating in the week um, maybe some of you are wondering what's happening with the podcast I am recording a new episode with a friend on Monday, so it is possible I will drop a new episode on Sunday and get back into the swing of things, especially now the semester is over. So we'll see. I don't want to do what I did to myself before. I could obviously haphazardly drop episodes. It would be kind of nice to like launch a new season. So it might be that I drop this episode here um, and then like gear up again in the new year. So that's what we're going to do. We'll see. We'll see what's up. Um, okay. So for next week, I have, um, some final projects I need to assess. And, um, then I need to post final grades. I think I have until Wednesday to um, change my password. I hate that I have to do that so often, but I get it. Security, we love it. Um, I need to capture this LOR or do it one or the other. It's due mid-January. And I might just put it off until then. And then there's the term grant report. I'm actually just going to drop that, and if they ever ask me for it, I will give it to them. Everything else will be done. And then I think that's it for obligations I have for work, unless something else pops up, but I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, good. So, as you can see, like, less and less stuff to do as the semester ends, and I am legitimately going to, I'm going to turn my grades in on Friday. Um, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and put on here... and then take the rest of the month off. That's the plan. So I need it. I need it. I need time to just read and exercise and stare at my Christmas tree. And yes, this is what I need. Okay. So let's get to the fun part, which is the decorating, um, which I know I do ahead of time a lot of the time, but it is what it is. And I do have this washi, which will be easier for me than this washi. But this washi is definitely thicker and more opaque. So. Let me see how this looks. It's, in case you can't see it, it's like little tiny animal paws. Um, I got it in the set for, which has like, my black cat on the pink background too, um, but it's pink, so it's gonna go with my pink and red color scheme. Um, one of these days I'm gonna do a flip through of the Passion Planner too, so you can see like the different spreads over the course of the semester. Um, I think it might be kind of fun to do that because I looked at it the other day and I was like, oh, I do have some really cute stuff, you know? Um, so I really like this little, like, it says candy cane wishes and peppermint kisses. It's like, it's really cute. So I might stick it here. Nice little corner anchor sticker. 
And then I like this little red and pink. Ah, joy. I'm going to stick this down so that it holds the corner of that washi down. And then we have this Santa. And I'm going to come back to this in a sec. But for now, I might stick this. Hmm. I don't have any content that goes out on Tuesdays, so this is probably a good place for this. Yeah, that's cute. Let's see what else we got in here. These pink trees are really cute. This is not the right color. Um, I didn't use to decorate my passion planners, but it's actually really, it just, it kind of makes it nice to, to see all the time. Like, um, and I'm going to do a video one day talking about, you know, how, how my passion planner situation has evolved over time because it really has evolved. Um, I kind of like being able to mark, and I, I, I'm going to keep these for when I like make plans and have to cover them up, which happens every week, believe me. Um, so it's kind of nice to have those options to like cover up things that change. Um, but there were some, there's some situations I look back at my old passion planners and I like can't tell, you know, some of the most important things that ha were happening in my life at that time, I know they were happening at that time, but you really couldn't tell by looking at my planner. And I just thought to myself, like, it would be fun to actually really celebrate those things, you know, to like really be able to see them. Ooh, this is cute. Um, and to remember like more clearly what happened each day, like what did I spend my time on, to be able to see that visually. And of course I could do that in a less decorative manner if I wanted to. Um, but this just makes it fun. And um, and you know, I, I, it does draw me to the planner, like past the point of just organizing my life. Um, it does make it more likely that I will, I will record those things, right? Like if I'm doing it with colored pens and stuff. Ooh, this is like ugly sweater Christmas present is really cute. I wonder if this is big enough to cover up this quote. do is put this guy next to cute right okay and then should I do like angle should I do sideways up and down actually I think I'm gonna do up and down okay so I don't want to overdo it because I definitely could have that tendency um, and chances are I'll be adding some additional stuff on here as the week progresses. Now, let's talk about, um, I'm going to add some pen here in a sec, but I also want to talk about this Christmas list. Now, it does say cheesy AF holiday movies. Uh, and because I don't want the explicit rating, I'm not going to say what that stands for, but you all know. Um, and these are the, so this is the category I came up with. These are the cheesy ones, like the Hallmark and Lifetime and blah, blah, blah. And the Netflix originals that everyone loves to watch. I put my favorite ones. Um, I'll just go around in the list so you can see in case you can't see in this video because my handwriting is quite small. Um, the first one is You Can't Fight Christmas. I just love that. Like almost all black cast, just great. Um, it's about this like old, you know, historically like black owned hotel and like 
the changes as you know society is changing um, it's just a really good one Christmas Town again super freaking cheesy but I really like it I don't know why I haven't really put my finger on why I like that one but I do the 12 dates of Christmas is just great I mean it's it's got that whole like you know it, like each of the if you look really closely each of the revivals of the main character correspond with the 12 days of Christmas song and I just really like it um, the Princess Switch, especially the first one, really good. I just enjoy that. I like anything with princes or princesses in it, even though I wouldn't characterize my like reading habits to correspond with that, but for some reason I like it in film form. Holiday Engagement is like one of those tense family drama slash comedy type things. Um, I just really like that kind of thing. The Christmas Candle, again, super cheesy, but has like, it's a period film. And so I always like, kind of like that sort of thing. There's other ones too that I could have added on here, like that Ghost of Christmas one, which is also pretty good, but I really like the Christmas Candle more. So I popped that in here. Christmas Inheritance, you know, the whole like city girl comes to the small town and realizes she's dumb. Um, I, I, I like that. I fell for that immediately. Um, the Holiday Calendar Another great one, this is probably, if you watch anything on this list, you should watch this one. I love the vintage holiday, like the advent calendar that's in here. Like, oh, so cute. Um, Christmas Prince, as I said, princes and princesses. Um, and then Dear Santa, which um, I really like. I just like the whole arc of this like main character's story, like where she realizes that she's like, crazy, shallow, selfish, and she kind of actually knows that before the whole story starts. Um, so anyhow, I just like these. So these are the cheesy holiday movies that I will definitely be rewatching this year. There's probably going to be some new ones added, although not as many as you think because COVID happened, right? So there's like, for example, I think John said that there's not going to be another Princess Switch or another Prince Christmas Prince movie. I can't remember which one. Um, because there was COVID and they weren't filming. Um, so I would love to know in the comments of this video, do you have a cheesy holiday movie that you like to rewatch every year? If so, what is it? Because I'm always open to adding things to this list. I'm just gonna come into these. I, I put these circles around because it kind of reminded me of like an old fashioned like billing for our movie, you know? Although I think to make it to make it more like that, I need to put an extra box around the circles. But for now, it's just gonna be pink and red. Um, Non-Christmas movies that we're watching that I recommend, um, we just finished, not a movie, but a show, we finished a show called Cowboy Bebop and I'm not, I will say I've never seen the anime, so I know there's some anime fans out there who are like not loving the adaptation. I really liked it, not having any knowledge whatsoever of the anime. So um, just as a person who's never seen the anime, and if that, if, if you fall into that category and you like kind of action-y, heisty movies, um, I recommend it. Plus, it totally reminds me a Firefly. And so if you liked Firefly, you will probably like Cowboy Bebop. That's my my hot take on that. Although I will say like most of December is definitely watching holiday related things. And that's just because like when December ends, you know, I I don't like continue to watch any of them. So this is like the month I get to like rewatch all my favorites and really enjoy it so and there's so many of them as you can see this is only like the second list i've made and <laughs> we still have so many weeks to go <laughs> so just keeping that and this is a really dark red so i'm not going to highlight the movies because then you won't be able to see them but I am going to put like a little cloud around them so that the red and the orange theme carries over. Um, I'd love to know like what other holiday fun you guys are planning too, if any. Um, 
one thing we're finally going to do this year that we've been meaning to do for many years is actually go do the drive through light show experience. Um, so I'm excited for that because I love Christmas lights. Like I will like literally, if John and I are in a funk, we'll like get in the car and at night, obviously further into December when most people have decorated and we will just go look at lights um, to cheer us up. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm going to go ahead and highlight some of these things. And under the cloud here. And I'm going to highlight this guy. I also like to do the, the alternating colors up here in lieu of like washi or something. I wish this pink was a little lighter, but it's the pinkest pink that I have. I have it on good authority though, that I'm going to be getting some more markers for Christmas. So I will have more options in the future. Ah. Um, I think I'm gonna do, let's see, his starts this and probably goes to, I forget how long his is, but whatever. We have that, and then we have mine. And then we have mom's. And I'm going to go ahead and do This week's focus, definitely in final grades. And parties. And this is a week of December. Okay, so if you watched my December setup video, you know that I basically was in a mood because of something I still don't want to talk about. Um, but I was in a mood and I was like, no goals <laughs> for the month of December. Um, and that's still more or less true. I, uh, my focus is rest, you know, to, to kind of turn the semester over and then uh, to move on. Um, I do have some of my like mental health coping things that I, that I'm trying to cultivate. Um, this I added after the fact because I do need to get these conference materials submitted. So that's like a, a deadline specific thing that I need to do. And then I put, um, my family goals, which, um, aren't extra. They were already on the table. I've already done some of them. I've already mailed the Christmas treats. Um, I'm going to go visit my grandparents. So, I added these after the fact because it's not like I'm not going to do anything this month, but um, I just didn't want to add anything to my to my plate that wasn't already there. Um, because as I said, I'm trying to take the rest of the month off to really like recoup to to really refresh so that I can enter the new year with some like energy. Um, so that is the plan. I just wanted to to check in with you guys on that and see how that's going. Also coming up. I am going to redo my passion roadmap because it is officially halfway through the academic year and um, passion planner gives me a mid year roadmap so that I can refresh it. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to this. I'm going to video this and it's going to go out on Monday, the 27th of December. So just be looking out for that. And of course, if you want to see how this spread evolves over the course of the week, you can follow me on Instagram. I put a link to my Instagram in the comments of this video. Um, just a quick reminder, again, I am doing Vlogmas every Wednesday. There will be a new vlog up until Christmas, and then I will cease doing Vlogmas. 
Um, I would love to know, you know, how is your month going? Do you have any movies you would like to add to my cheesy, uh, cheesy holiday movie list? Um, just please leave a comment. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like this kind of content. Subscribe if you're not already. And thank you for watching. I'll see you back here.